Thank you, everyone. It gives us so much heart to see you all here today, uh, standing up for, for Julian Assange, for whistleblowers, for truth-telling. This Saturday, if you didn't know, this Saturday, the 20th of March, is the 18th anniversary of the beginning of the Iraq War. Do you remember where you were on the 20th of March, 2003? Yep, yep. Did you rally and march against the stupidity, yep. the deception, the dishonesty? Yep. So did I. It was the first protest I ever went to in my life. And we were right. We were ignored and we were lied to. And in this post-truth world, where we've had decades of nothing but lies in our polity, arguably the most powerful man in the world who's just left office in the US, caught out lying more than 30,000 times, with no consequence, with no accountability. Why would we be not just prosecuting, but persecuting truth tellers in a time like this? Why would we be going after Julian Assange and David McBride and Bernard Caleri and Richard Boyle and so many others? Let me just finish with this. If we go after the truth teller of the Iraq war, Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning, if we go after them, what does it say about the importance of the truth? There's much bigger issues at stake here now. The road from here will only get more dark and more dangerous if we don't make a stand for the extradition of Julian Assange. There's so much at stake here. I know Andrew's gone through it. I'd just like to introduce my fantastic colleague, Janet Rice, who's also been doing amazing things uh, in the Australian Senate to try and raise awareness and get Julian home. She actually only recently asked a question in Senate question time. Janet? Thanks, Pete. And thank you all for being here, speaking up for justice, speaking up for truth-telling, joining together so that we, our message can be heard in this place. Speaking up for Julian Assange, who is languishing in the Belmarsh prison for telling the truth for revealing war crimes, for speaking truth to power. That's why he is there, because the powerful did not want to hear the truth that he was telling. They did not want to hear how war crimes had been committed. That's the, the reason why Julian is there, and that's the reason why we are here. And I am so pleased to be with you, to be standing here with you, to standing here with my colleague, Pete Wish-Wilson, the other parliamentarians in this place, speaking up for justice and speaking to get Julian out of Belmarsh Prison, to, as an Australian citizen, to bring him back to Australia if that's where he wants to come to, but at the very least, for freedom. Today, this week is an enormous week in this parliament. We are going to have the women's justice rally here at midday, calling for justice for women against sexual violence. I've already spoken at the Uyghur rally this morning, speaking to justice for the Uyghur people in China. Justice needs to be done, and it needs to be done around the world. We cannot pick and choose when it comes to human rights and when it comes to justice. We've got to be working for justice and working for the human rights of all people. And Julian Assange stands out as somebody who needs to have his human rights respected. We need justice for Julian Assange. We need freedom for Julian Assange. And as Greens, we will continue to work for him until he is free. So thank you, everyone, and I look forward to continuing the fight with you. Thank you, Janet. I just want to finish on this note. Thinking about this Saturday, the rallies and protests against this illegitimate, illegal and unethical war were the biggest this country's ever seen. The rallies right around the world were some of the biggest in history. Over 10 million people hit the streets. A million people just in Rome alone. And for those of us that were there, we remember. We've got to ask ourselves, where are all these people now? Where are all these people now? Because 
the anger, that righteous anger that we were ignored and lied to, and nobody doubts what a disaster that war was, and we knew it when we marched. Let's find these people. Let's get half a million people on the streets again in Australia, marching to save the truth teller of this war, the only person, along with the whistleblowers, Chelsea Manning, who disclosed the truth about what was going on in Iraq. Let's channel that energy, that anger, that indignity, and get hit the streets for Julian. This Saturday is a good opportunity, but it's not going to be the last. So let's all do it. Let's talk to the people we know. Let's send a really clear message to this building and to President Joe Biden. This is the biggest opportunity we've had, and I am optimistic we are going to free Julian Assange.